Based on numerous inquiries I had received online when I first began teaching on Udemy, I just wanted to focus on teaching magic. Yet I can see now why I am a college student interested in anthropology who is pursuing a degree in either philosophy or theology. My 2021 class has thus been removed. However, if you are a student in the previous class, you can still access the material forever. I dropped the 2021 class since it was centered on religion. I use many biblical spells through hoodoo techniques in order to explore the development of religion and how it's related to various facets of magic. The 2022 class was a lot better. With a lot more candle magic, testimonies, Wiccan rituals, practical witchcraft magic, protection jars, and meditation. I'm also proud to say that I have been asked to be a speaker as a practitioner at certain upcoming events on my college campus. Remember, if you want to be more educated in spirituality, magic, and religion, some colleges and universities have included magic, witchcraft, and religion in the Department of Anthropology. So that way we can learn different practices from all over the world, from different cultures. Now, let's talk about what is to come. Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is Artemis Lore with Artemis Oracle Cards. Uh, many of you know me on Udemy uh, as uh, an instructor teaching witchcraft and spirituality. Uh, I just wanted to let my students know that there are going to be some updates coming. I don't want to pre-speak on anything too soon, but if you're looking for something a little more in depth, uh, I actually have a team of people that you can reach right on my website, just to let you guys know. And um, there are some things coming. So hopefully you have been practicing. Hopefully you have been paying attention. If, <clears throat> if something um, did or did not work for you, keep on working on it until you get better, okay? Um, everything is not 100% or even 1,000% guaranteed. We all know that with magic. Um, and we also have to be uh, careful with the people that we choose when we're, you know, doing or using magical spell work, all right? So um, just a quick note today, I will be uh, working with my Book of Shadows, which... That is a pretty good uh, thing to do. It's just like journaling, keeping up with everything, any type of testimonies, any anything that you feel that has happened or worked. Um, I will get a little more in depth with the Book of Shadows. Um, there's another Book of Shadows coming, but I will let you guys know about that soon as well. Uh, here on this channel, this is going to be more of a coven channel. Um, so you guys will see like different courses and stuff like that, uh, which will be coming as well. I'm working on this. Like I told you guys two years ago, it takes time to make courses. Uh, and at least I'll be a little more avail available for my students to talk with me. I know that some of you guys, you know, on Udemy, it's kind of hard to really get in contact with me, but I'll try to work on that as well. How is everybody doing? Hopefully you've been making your protection jars and, you know, doing different things. Um, and I just really wanted to just reach out and say hello. So today is February 16th, 2023. Um, and you'll be able to see the timeline of how long it's going to take me to, you know, put all of this together. Uh, and essentially when I started, um, I wanted to get to the point of shamanism and telepathy, uh, which are two things that I have tried and I could see that they work. The one main thing that I want to tell people is do not expect to see something that you've seen on TV, all right? This is not Charmed, um, you know, and this is not Sabrina the Teenage Witch either. Uh, this is everyday practical magic. I did have a student in my class that said, everything here is practical and it is, but some things that are practical may not be practical for others as practical as it seems, 
You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's the whole thing about it. Do you just go grab a candle and start doing a spell? Have you cleansed? Have you prayed? Have you paid attention to the energy? Are you looking around you to see, you know, how things are falling through with that spell? Or, you know, are you really paying attention or you're just like, hey, I don't see any electricity coming out of her hand. So this is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you come into it that way, your magic will be that way for you as well. All right. So um, I will talk to you guys later. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. This is Artie. Bye.